everybody. Just gonna share this. As soon as I can find it. Okay. Just gonna share it to VIP group. All right. So if you're just joining me, when you come in, say hello so that I know that you're here. I feel like the camera is a little, a little too low. Sorry, I'm just gonna see if that's any better. There's such a delay here. Oh, that's better, sort of. Yeah, it's a little bit better. All right, make sure you say hello when you come in. If you're watching this on replay, uh, comment hashtag replay. So I'm gonna show you guys what we've made last night on the, li <coughs> on the live, and then I'm gonna do an unboxing. I got some stuff today and I haven't even looked at it so I don't know what's in there. So I'll just wait a minute or so for everybody to come in. Got my lemon water. It's so muggy here today. Yeah, it was a little bit early tonight, like a minute to seven. Well, I guess we'll get started. It's Thursday night. Everybody's probably busy. It's been a nice day. So here is the dessert dishes we did last night. I had them in the oven. They're completely cooled. Now hold it up so you can see a little bit better, the close up. I love how it's got that shimmer in it and it just got so much brighter after it was baked. So those are done. So I'm gonna put those aside. And then Make sure you say hello when you come in so I know you're here. Now we're going to open this guy. And I know I've got some scissors here, just in case. Because there's usually a piece of tape right in the middle. And I can never pull this. So who have we got watching? I can see two people are watching, but I didn't see you come in. All right. This is a tough one. There we go. Okay. What is in the box? A piece of cardboard. Paste. That's what I ordered. This is for I was telling everybody yesterday that I want to do my coffee table upstairs. So 
these are the colors that I needed to do that. It's going to look awesome. So I've got Fig. Really pretty color. Very, um, oh, it's a very muted purple. It's, you can't really see here what the color looks like, but it's very pretty. Um, and then Bark, because I didn't have any brown, and sometimes it's really good to have some brown. And then Bumblebee. I'm not using this on the table, but the yellow that I had was really pale, and I've got a couple projects coming up that I want to use that on. And then I needed some more black, because I am almost out of black. And grayish. It's kind of a cross. Where's my storm? A cross between. So here's the storm, and there's the grayish. And then this one is the. Where's the fresh linen? Fresh linen. So that's the fresh linen. It's almost like the fresh linen, but it's a little bit darker. Hey, Margie. So got that one. I'm excited about that. And then, oh, iced coffee. This I'm definitely going to use on the coffee table. Definitely. I think that's going to look awesome. Oh my God, absolutely loved San Antonio. We want to go back there again. We had such a good time. Hey, Jessica. And then the transfer. Because I love Paris so much, the theme of the coffee table is going to be Paris. So I'm excited about this. Oh, thank you, Margie. Okay, so for those that just came in, I did finish um, the dessert cups from last night that we did, that we inked on. So these are all done. They're nice and sparkly. I love how they turned out. Okay, so tonight, we're going to, um, I need, what do I need? I need white. We're going to do this Aiden um, gallery board. This is the nine by 12 board. Um, it looks a lot bigger than that because of the frame. Um, this board is magnetic. So if you ever wanna do something and you wanna have something magnetic on it, it's amazing. So that's what we're working on tonight. And we're going to use the flower transfer that we used the other night for the welcome, uh, welcome board. And then there's going to be some words on top. So there's a little bit of layering going on in this one. Put that in the back. So the first thing that we're going to do, I'm just gonna wipe this off. I've never used this board yet. I'm pretty excited about it. Put that aside. First thing we're gonna do is the flowers. And then once we've done those, um, we're gonna put the words on top after we dry it really well. And let me just see. Yeah, they turned out really good, Kyle. So I'm going to fuzz this really well because I don't want it to stick to my board. And I'm just gonna pull it off. Now the transfers, this was a larger transfer and I cut it in half. And all the transfers have uh, white lines, cut lines, where you can cut them if they need to be cut. 
I always write on the back of the paper side of the transfer because I don't want to put the transfer back on the paper. And the other side, the backer sheet is very glossy. You can see that there's a shine to it. So if you ever forget to write on the back, you'll know which side the transfer sheet goes back on. All right. Now I have to decide which way I want to put this. Okay. I think with the two buds at the top is where I'm going to put it. And just make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to rub it down, make sure that there's no air bubbles in the transfer area. Because then we're going to have the paste sneaking out. So just give it a good rub. Now we're going to do this in stages. Um, I'm going to put colors down here and then pull back and I'm going to dry. Uh, so we'll be working with a couple different colors at the same time. I need to get green. So I'm going to do a couple different colors of green for the leaves. For the flowers, I'm going to do uh, cherry blossom, peony, and raspberry sorbet. I'm going to go away from my normal peacock and teal, go out of my comfort zone, even though these are really nice colors. So that is the plan. Now, I need to get my supplies. I wasn't very prepared there, was I? And I've got five different colors that I'm going to work with. I'm going to get out a couple little tiny squeegees that I've cut up just to get into those tight spaces. And then I'm going to get a stir stick for each color. I don't want to contaminate my paste. Okay, so we're going to start with the bud. And I think, I can't remember. I haven't had real flowers around for so long. Is the bud usually darker than the flower when it blooms? I can't remember. Or lighter? Or does it matter? You guys tell me. What do you think? Kyle, Jessica, Margie? What are your thoughts? Okay, we're going to go light. I think I'm going to... I'm going to do the cherry blossom for the buds. I'm going to stand by. <laughs> you having technical difficulties, Kyle? All right, so I'm mixing this up and I want it to be a nice yogurt sour cream consistency. This is a little on the thick side. So I'm gonna spray just a little bit of distilled water in here and I'm gonna give it a good mix. All right, that seems a little bit better. And I'm just gonna use the small squeegee and dip a little bit into the chalk paste. So the chalk paste is wet, and then once it's dry, it dries to a solid. <clears throat> so I think I'm just gonna go down here. Now the bottom part of the bud, I think I'm gonna do in the lighter green. Because usually, 
that is a different color. Okay, put that aside. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did you Google that, Kyle? You're awesome. Okay, so I'm pulling that up. Now I'm gonna dry it. So this project tonight is gonna to take a little bit longer. And I think for the, when I do the coffee table, I might just videotape it, not do it live, videotape it because that's gonna be a long process. And then I can speed up the areas that are a little bit boring. So there's that one done. I'm gonna do the bottom one as well. Just here. Right to where the bud starts. Okay, and then I'll lift that. And let that dry. So now I'm going to start on some of the greens. I'm going to actually cover this for now because I don't want it to dry out. And I will put it there. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. Now I'm going to use the, hmm, I think I did eucalyptus and green envy last time. I think that's what I'm going to do again. <clears throat> so I'll do the green envy for the bottom of the buds. Give it a mix. That one's nice. That's a good consistency. And I'm going to use another one of my small guys. And just a little bit. A little goes a long way. You put it on and then you scrape it off. And as long as you haven't got it within another color area, put it back in your jar. But I'm going to do a couple of leaves here. Just while I got the green out. And then afterwards I'll put the eucalyptus in. Okay, I think I'm pushing my luck if I do any more than that right now. So I'm going to get the eucalyptus. And this is really thick. And I'm just putting distilled water in it. Don't use regular tap water because that can cause mold. So distilled water is best. In a pinch, if you don't have anything else, then regular water. Alright, so just dab some here. Not going to wipe it back in there. And there's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm putting this on. You can put it on any way you want. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my finger and just blend. Because it's it dries so fast, the chalk paste, that Really, I should have probably done just a couple at a time. I was being a little bit ambitious. And that'll give a little bit more depth to the leaves. I'm going to pull that. If I can get to it. There we go. I'm just pulling it slowly back. I think you guys can see that. 
I'll look it up in just a second. With this fan going right above me, this paste is drying out quicker than it should. All right. Hey, Aja. Uh, you can always do segment lives. Yeah, that's true, Kyle. I'm thinking it's probably going to take me at least an hour because I have to sand it too. And I don't know if I'm going to do it right in my living room or take it outside. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. So I used the cherry blossom here. And then I mixed the green envy and the eucalyptus and kind of shaded the leaves a little bit. And then I've done the blossom at the bottom as well. So it's really easy to work in segments on here. You don't have to panic and do the whole thing all at once, which is great. Thank you. Yes, it's going to look beautiful, Aja. And then after I'm done, I'm putting some words on top. Okay, so now I still have I still have one leaf here, but I'm thinking that I'm going to do this flower in the middle first. So that's the way that one's done, and then I can focus on the, the bottom half. So I'm going to do the peony in the middle of the flower, and then the raspberry sorbet on the outside, and then I'm going to blend it. So let me mix this one up. I love this stuff because you don't have to be super artistic. Anybody can do this. Next week, um, for the long weekend, our grandkids are coming. So we're going to do a live party with the kids chalking. That way it'll show just, you know, anybody can do it. And the lines with the transfers, this because it's silk screen, you get such a nice crisp line with it. Okay, so I'm going to cover that, and I'm going to get the raspberry sorbet and a stir stick. And that one's got oh, this one's really thick too. So for those that just came in, what I'm doing is I'm spraying some distilled water into the chalk paste, and that's going to thin it out. I want the chalk paste to be uh, yogurt, sour cream consistency. All right, that's perfect. So now I'm just going to dab this around. And a little bit of chalk truly does go a long way. So because I'm blending colors here, I'm not going to be able to put it back in the jar. I'm just going to clean off this squeegee. So in the middle. Actually, I haven't touched the sorbet. So I'm going to put that back. And now I'm going to work on this. And I'm going to use a smaller squeegee on the outside because I don't want to get this color into the leaves. Just working my way around. And I'm going to use the multi-tool for this. And just make sure that I get all the areas of the flower. Almost there. And then again, I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to put a little bit of water on it and blend the two areas together. I'm applying a good amount of pressure to make sure that the chalk paste goes right through the silk screen area. 
I'm just going to shake off. I just want a little bit of water. So just shake off some of the excess. And blend. That was starting to dry. Okay. Let's lift that up. Always make sure that you don't have any chalk paste on your hands because you don't want to get it onto your design. Now I'll show you that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the shading in it. It just gives it such depth. Just by taking two chalk colors and blending them together. Alright, so now I'm going to dry that. I know, they're so looking forward to it, Aja. Even Sophia's going to do something. Last time I did a party at uh, a workshop at Carly's house, Sophia was right in there. We gave her a canvas to work on and she created her own little piece of art. It was amazing. So I don't know if you can see, but right here, I smudged the chalk paste. Not a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I've got these Q-tips that are actually makeup Q-tips. I'm just gonna put some water on the end and it can just be regular water. And I'm just gonna rub right there and now it's gone it's so easy to fix stuff Need a little bit more water got some excess there we go there super easy to fix up stuff if it goes outside So now I'm going to put this back down and make sure that the areas that I haven't chalked yet, the silk screen is adhered to the board. And I'm going to work on these three leaves here and then I'll do that flower. So I will put on some green envy. And all of these. And that is drying out super fast. Okay, I'll get my eucalyptus. Some on there, on there, and I'm going to use the multi tool. Just give it a good wipe and blend that. And that was just the eucalyptus, so we're good there. Now again, I'm going to just wet my finger, shake off the excess, and blend it. You can get so much depth just depending on how much color you're putting in there. and how much blending you do. So I'm gonna pull that back. And every one that you do is going to be different. 
because you're never going to use the same amount of color for each one that you make. And that's why these are truly just, they're amazing because you could have somebody else with the exact same transfer and nobody's is ever going to turn out the same way. Everyone is unique. I'm just adding a little bit of water there because it didn't like the way the line was created. Hey, Amy. We're just working on a transfer here. So I'm going to cover those up and then I'm going to lay this back down. It's still a little bit wet. And now we're going to work on the second flower. And I'm going to do it the same way I did the first one. So I'll put the dark on and then the peony in the middle. So raspberry sor sorbet and then peony. So just on the outside. Doesn't take a lot of paste. And then I'm going to put the peony in the middle. Just a little bit and then I'm going to use the multi-tool again which I already cleaned and I'm just going to go to the edges of the outer petals and drag it towards the center and I got a little bit of excess here so before I get it into the peony, I'm just going to scrape it back in the container. All right. I really should be turning the board. I think it will be a lot easier on me. And normally the chalk paste does dry quickly, but because I've got a fan going right above me, it's drying a little bit faster than it normally would. But that's okay. The little bit of water moistens it up again. And then it's good. Okay, as soon as I'm finished this flower, then I'm going to have a look and check for questions. Now I'm going to wet my finger here and I'm going to do this instead. And blend that. I think that one's going to be too light. I think I might add some more Raspberry sorbet to that one. It just seems too light. Or maybe not. Let's have a look at it and see what it looks like before I decide what I'm going to do. So again, I'm just going to pull it back and I don't pull the transfer all the way off because then it's going to change the position of where it is. Okay. No, that's okay. I'll show you guys. I'm just going to dry it a bit and I'm just using cool heat from the blow dryer. I don't want to use full on heat because it'll wreck the transfer. And then also trying to put the transfer back on the board. The board's going to be hot. This, uh, this one is a magnetic board. This is the Aiden board. Just like real flowers. They're both so different from each other. I think it's awesome. Alright, so now we're going to do... The rest of the leaves. So just make sure that the transfer is down. And I'm going to close up the chalk paste. And because these are already so thick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to it 
and I'm not going to mix it up. I'm just going to put the lid on and that way the moisture is in there for the next time and then I'll just mix it up next time I use it. So that's that one. And it's always a good idea to just scrape the edges, make sure that there's no dried chalk paste there. And then put the lid on. Okay, so now back to the greens. So I'm going to do green envy. Give it a good mix. I'm going to try and work fast with all of these. Clean that off. I don't need fuchsia leaves. Although some leaves do have a little bit of red in them. Okay. So these ones, I think I might just do Green Envy. Just to add a little bit, you know, dimension to it. If it doesn't look okay, you can always add to it. I'm excited to start my coffee table. I think it's going to look awesome. I'm going to do it Paris themed. I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to put um, an espresso stain on it. And then I'm going to use a couple of different transfers, one of them being Paris, um, another one is Bonjour, and maybe a floral. So it'll almost be like a patchwork. There we go. So now I'm just going to put this in my water bath, and I'll clean it after. So that's what it looks like so far. I absolutely love it. Like you could even leave it like this. You don't even have to do anything else to it. What do you guys think? Hey Marika. Isn't that awesome? So easy. You guys, if you've been thinking about having a workshop, do it. Your friends will be amazed. It's so awesome. Okay, I'm just going to close these guys up. Add some water to it. And then we'll give that a chance to dry a little bit more. Because we are putting another transfer directly on top, I don't want it to pull off what we just did. I know, they do. Like, there's so much dimension in it. And it's amazing, just by blending two colors. I could even have put some white in the middle, just a little tiny bit. Yeah, I love it, Aja. This might be one that I don't clean off. I might want to keep this. Okay, so there's a couple people in here that haven't seen this before, I don't think. Um, so one of the other beauties of Chalk Couture, not only are the transfers reusable 8 to 10, 12 times, depending on how well you care for them and clean them afterwards, but the chalk paste, when you put it on a surface other than um, glassware, because you're going to use ink on glass. Uh, wood, if you put it on chalkboard, um, if it's not a chalk couture surface, you would wax it first. You can wash it off. So I could take my spray bottle and spray this right now. Nothing would happen. But if I sprayed it and I used my board eraser, everything would come off. 
actually have something that we can we can do while we're waiting for it to dry. So this is a board and base. This is a chalk couture surface, five by seven. It's double sided, so I've got an image on one side and something else on the other. Comes right out of the base. So what I'm gonna do, and this is our silver shimmer. I did the gold last night in the ink. This is the silver, you can really see the sparkles in it. So now, I'm gonna spray water on here. Now if I just sprayed water on here or somebody accidentally got water on something, nothing's gonna to happen to it. It'll drip off, it'll eventually dry, and you don't have to worry about it. But if you wanted to remove it because it's Halloween and now you wanna do a Halloween transfer on here, you have your water on here. Take the board eraser, and this is the magic. Just rub it. Make sure you get all the areas. Now remember, this was glitter. I can actually feel the glitter in here from the shimmer paste. But it's kind of rough. But it is all coming off. All on the board eraser. So now I'm going to wash that. And then I'm going to take the inside of our fuzzing towel. This side is the fuzzing side, the one with the, the tag here. The inside is microfiber. So I'm just going to wipe with the microfiber. And you know I had a design on the other side of this. And I had water on here. And I was pushing on it. Well, my design has come off. So whatever you do, if you're taking a double-sided <laughs> surface, make sure that this is dry, whatever you're putting it on. So that's how you take off a transfer. Now, if I wanted to keep it and make it permanent, any surface using the chalk paste, I would spray it with a spray sealer. Now I've got a Krylon sealer, a matte sealer, and then there's um, chalked, which I think is by rust -Oleum. They also have a matte sealer. And then you wouldn't have to worry about accidentally getting water on it or somebody smudging it you'd be okay. So does anybody have any questions? I'm just going to make sure this is really good and dry. And I might even put a little bit of wax over top of this. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Not a lot of detail in the next part that we're putting on. <clears throat> so this is our Aiden uh, gallery board. 9 by 12. That feels pretty dry. But I'm going to fuzz this guy really well. Get these into the water. So I haven't written on the back, so I'm going to write on the back of this one. And the reason I write on the back is because the back side is paper. Swiffer duster over the chalk. Yes, you can definitely use a just one of those dry dusters. It's not going to do anything to it at all. The only time it would affect this is if you were using a wet cloth and rubbing that wet cloth on here. That's going to remove the chalk paste. But dry dusting is perfectly fine. 
Okay, so I'm taking the transfer off. So this side is a matte side. This side is the glossy side. This is the side you want your transfer to go back on. I put mine back on the wrong side once and it stuck to the paper. I was able to save the transfer, but it was tough getting it off, so you don't want to do that. Now I'm going to fuzz this really well because I don't want it to pull up the image that I've already done. But you guys, when you see this finished, it's going to be so nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or if it's going to go with me to the market. I'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so that's fuzz well. So now I'm going to lay this right on top. And I want to make sure that it's centered. Which... I think it needs to right about there. Now I'm just going to press down lightly in that silk screen area because I don't want this to stick. Okay, and I'm going to use bright white, which I have one open already. And I need a stir stick. Sorry, guys. I thought I had them all out. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this up. This is really thick. This is a brand new one. And it needs to be really mixed up well. So I'm going to use the multi-tool and you can see how thick it is and it will get thinner as I mix it. All right. There we go. Still a little on the thick side so I'm going to add some water to it. a mix and I'm going to use a large squeegee for this because I just want to go quickly over all the lettering and wipe that off there so I'm going to use the angled squeegee it's got a nice big surface area you can pull down with. Okay, here goes nothing. And I hear air bubbles. You can actually hear them, it's like popcorn. And more air bubbles. It should be all right though. If not, I can always start over again, which is okay. I did that with the welcome sign the other night. I wasn't happy with the placement of the flowers, so the next day I wiped it off and did it again. So you want to make sure that you get the excess off and you're putting it on in a nice thin layer. You get in coverage everywhere that you've got the silk screen area. Scrape off the excess back in the container. And then pull it off and oh my god, you guys, fingers crossed. No, I need more. 
You didn't press hard enough there. I'm going to water this down a little bit more. And that's the other thing. You can pull the transfer back a little bit just to see, which is really good, especially on a project like this. Everywhere else looks like it should be good. Nope. All right. There we go. Success. I'm going to keep that there for now. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says, and suddenly you became my everything. It's kind of distressed a little bit, which it's supposed to be, but I absolutely love it. This part here, I could have gotten a little bit more but I think it was because the ink was, or the uh, chalk paste was a little bit too thick to begin with. But I think it turned out amazing. Don't you get fuzzy? What was that, Marika? Don't you get fuzzy on the one you just did? No, because I wanted to make sure that this one was really dry first. So that's why I used the blow dryer on it for quite a way, quite a while, just to make sure that it was good and dry. If it wasn't completely dry when I put the next transfer on top, even though I fuzzed it, I would run the risk of pulling some of this chalk paste up with the transfer. And I have done that before. Now, the only thing I would do different next time is I probably wouldn't use the cherry blossom because it's so close to the white, like up here with the Anne going through. It's so close to the white. So that's that one done. So maybe tomorrow night I might do a t-shirt. Still haven't decided. I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to do. Do you guys have any questions? No questions? I know I've got like a 30 second delay in my <coughs> on my iPad from the video. It's really weird. Very weird. So that's that one. Now I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna clean this while I got you guys here. Normally I'd put it in water, but I've got my other one in there right now. So I'm gonna take um, a Clorox wipe and probably should have put it in water because there is a lot of chalk paste on here. I'm going to do this. Spray some water on it and I'm going to use the board eraser on it. I'm going to have to fill that water. I'm going to use a new board eraser because that other one has lots of silver on it. Just gonna rub that along the transfer area. 
and you can see it's coming off so easily nice and loose and then I'll go over it with the Clorox wipe and just get all that chalk paste off so this is the front side so I always do the front side first and then I'll flip it over and do the back side and then it can dry right where it is because you want to let it dry air dry get another Clorox wipe okay now I'm going to flip it and this is really sticky still and when you're pulling don't ever just pull from the corner because it's a silk screen transfer you can actually ruin the transfer by doing that so it's always best side to side or top to bottom. Just clean that off. So now this is the back side, the sticky side. And by using the Clorox wipe, you're removing the lint that you just put on it by fuzzing it. And this is going to bring the stickiness back to it. So it's really important to clean it really well. Now it's going to dry and it'll be really sticky again. And there we go. Start to finish. I'm going to leave that right there. How much could you sell that for at market? Um, that one would probably be $95. Maybe even a hundred because of the type of frame that it is. Um, the Aiden frame, the nine by 12 is $52.99 retail. So for a finished piece, I'm thinking $90, $100. which, I mean, it's a one-of-a-kind piece, basically. You'll never find it. It's bespoke. Like, it's not something you're going to find at Winners or... Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's so hard to put a price on something that's handmade. Yeah, it's tough. Can you only use a wipe? Um, always use a board eraser. You could use, um, Mr. Clean. What are they called? The Mr. Clean erasers. But they're more expensive than our board erasers. Um, to get the stickiness back on the transfer, it's important to use, um, a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe. Because you want to keep the transfer as long as possible if you're doing multiple designs with that transfer you want to make sure that you're going to get you know good lifelong use out of it so the more you take care of it the longer it's going to last you i've got a couple of transfers that i used for the book stack and i also used when i did carly's workshop um, uh, your story edit often and they've been used I'm gonna say 15 times one of the transfers and it's still I can still use it so they're they're definitely good they do last a long time all right yes handmade with love well, I think that's it for tonight. Wow, that was an hour. I didn't think we'd be on that long. So um, tomorrow night, 7, same place. This was day 4. So tomorrow's day 5 of 30. 
Um, Saturday, I might just be posting something that I videotaped. Um, because I'm going to be out and I'm not sure what time I'm going to be back. But it still counts as a... For the 30-day challenge. Even though I'm not live, it'll still count, which is good. So if you guys have any questions, uh, send me a message. If you'd like my shop link, um, type hashtag shop. If you'd like more information about the VIP group, type hashtag VIP. And if you want more information on uh, joining my team, type hashtag team. I'd love to have you. All right. You guys have a great night and I will talk with you later. Bye for now.